David Limbrick is the uh, Liberal Democrat MP in Victoria. He's the one who stood against the extension of the uh, stay, uh, the uh, special powers, the blank check for Daniel Andrews. Uh, he ain't no Fiona Patton. He holds the line and he joins us now. David, um, what is different in the new set of laws from the old set of laws at all? Very little. Uh, in the new set of laws, they go for an extra nine months and there's some minor protections. We were, we were calling a few weeks ago for uh, protections that were recommendations of the Ombudsman's report into the housing tower lockdown where they said that, they, that the government had violated human rights. So some extra protections to try and treat Victorians that are detained under these laws, you know, at least as good as prisoners. But even that, they didn't uh, get quite right. They, one of the recommendations was to allow people detained to get uh, access to fresh air and exercise, and the government missed that. Um, so one of the things I did last night when I was going to be on your show, I was actually fighting to try and get fresh air and exercise amended into it, and uh, the government uh, voted against it, which wow. is absolutely shocking. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, they're literal oxygen thieves here. Yeah, literally, exactly. It's now in the damn laws. Now, also, uh, I imagine there's no compulsion on the chief health officer to actually publicly release uh, uh, the genomic information, all of that stuff, the basic uh, medical justifications for lockdowns. I'm imagining this law hasn't been amended to make sure that they have to hand anything over before you can go into lockdown? Absolutely not. I mean, we've been arguing for months now to try and get uh, access to the underlying uh, evidence that they're using for these directions to judge whether they're proportionate directions or not, and also access to the human rights charter assessments. As we discovered in the Ombudsman's report, and she, she did a wonderful job, by the way, in the Ombudsman's report into the housing tower lockdown, some of these human rights charter assessments are nothing more than a mental process. I mean, uh, this is just outrageous. And we don't know whether, uh, you know, what sort of evidence they're using to come up with these directions. So no one outside the public health team, as far as I'm, I can see, can actually judge whether these directions are proportionate responses to the, to the, to the pandemic and therefore, if they, you know, whether they're actually legal or not. But also now, it seems that Andrews has got a pretty tight little group of three that basically give him the majority to get anything like this done. Do you have fears that he now sees a path through the parliament and because he sees the path through the parliament, he doesn't have to deal with the parliament in improving this legislation? Well, I mean, the deal this time, you know, at least last time he asked for a year and he got six months. This time he asked for nine months and he got nine months. I mean, yeah. you know, if they're coming up with some sort of deal that's meant to be in the interests of Victorians, you know, this seems like the deal with the one of the co-founders of Apple that sold his 10% stake for 10% uh, 10 <laughs> stake for $800. I mean, you know, I mean, the, all we've got is a very modest, uh, slight protection for human rights. Uh, and there's some also some extra things in there to allow differentiated fines for children. I mean, but, you know, we're fining children, like, <laughs> with $1,600 fines here. I mean, what sort of child has access to that sort of money anyway. I mean, it's just crazy. They're saying, well, you know, hardly any children have paid these fines. Of course they haven't paid them. They don't, children don't have access to that sort of money. It's just crazy. Yeah, it is insane. Thank you, David. Thank you for fighting the good fight. We'll keep talking and supporting you all the way through. All the best. Find him on Facebook there and lots of other places. David Limerick there in Melbourne. Do appreciate it.